Hey friends, happy Saturday. Welcome to this week's thrift haul. Things are just a touch different. I'm gonna go over the rules real quick and then we will get to the haul. Now, usually I go live 10 a.m. every Saturday morning with my haul. This week I've pre-recorded it. So it's actually Friday. We're here live chatting on Saturday morning, but all of these items have been listed and loaded up on my site already, upcycledbybree.com, 9.55 a.m. They went live. So if you see something you love, run over now, grab it, check out and then come back and hang out because things do go fast around here. But I will be in the live chat, chatting with y'all. If you are on right now, you can chat with me. If you're catching the replay, you can click the little live chat button. You should be able to see that as well. So we'll go ahead and get going. I found some really great things this week, a ton of little items, a ton of critters, a ton of kitchen, which are two things I love. So it's going to be a fun one. Let's start over here with a few of the critters. I went to God's storehouse. Elena wanted to go thrifting with me, my daughter. So we went and we hit up some of the totes they store under their clothing. We found a ton of chickens, <laughs> ton of chickens. Some of these are gonna be painted, some of them will not. This one's not super great with the colors, so he's gonna be painted and it is $14.95. I paid $1.50. So I'll do some fun uh, thrift flip videos this week of how I like to paint my chickens up. This one will not get painted. I loved the colors on this one. He was $3.50. I'm selling him for $14.95 as well. Love the muted browns and the nice red. It's not too bright, like my fingernails for Valentine's Day. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that one as is. I've been having a couple people request the chickens and the roosters and I scored big. This one is also beautiful. It's $19.99. So they're retro. I paid $1.50 for this hen and I'm going to leave her. I like her colors. $14.95 for the chickens as well. This one Again, a little bright, a little crazy, and he's got a ding on his nose. I've got some air dry clay, so I'll make him a new nose, glue that on, make sure it's on there well, and then he'll get a paint job you'll never, ever know. <laughs> I like the roosters. I don't decorate with them in my own decor, but I do enjoy shopping for them because a lot of y'all decorate with them. Drop me a comment in the chat. Do you like to use any animals in your own decor? I personally like bunnies for spring. I've got a lot of mice. I'm looking around at all my animals. Um, mostly mice and bunnies. Oh, and some ducks. <laughs> if y'all don't mind, also, while we're on chatting, if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button and let YouTube know that you guys like these live hauls every, every Saturday, that would help me a lot. I would appreciate it. It's weird to be on here and not like have my computer with comments. So if I'm a little weird, you know, <laughs> y'all are used to it. I found two of these ducks. So last week, or it might've been two weeks ago, I found the mom and two babies. Well, these are two of the babies and one of them still has the sticker. So these are actually a Nesco and they are 1985. So two years older than me. These are 37 year old ducks. <laughs> Um, and I did price them as a pair. I thought they were super cute. The set I sold last time, the babies were slightly different. These are two of the same. So I thought they'd be a fun pair. $19.95 for the set. And I actually found these at a new little place here in town. It's a little local place. I forgot the name of it already. I'll have to, I'm going to film next time I go. We chatted for a while. Um, but she's got a lot of really cute stuff. And, um... I'd like to film there. I'd like to shop there. It's a little more antique boutique-y than a thrift, but I found a lot of great things. So those came from there. I paid $4 for them. They're up at $19.95. Um, ran by the Giving Tree for boxes. And of course I shopped because I have to. And I found these adorable mini cheese boxes. How cute are these? Everything is cuter when it's tiny. And I have these listed up to be sold individually and also to be stenciled. So I've got my JRV mini stencils that are going to look adorable on these. I paid 50 cents each and they will be $6.95 after I make them super cool. You know, probably going to make them look a little old and decrepit. Um, probably not paint. I like the, I like the wood look of them, but maybe a little wax and a stencil. 
I forgot to bring boxes in. Oops, I put all my junk. So I'm gonna have piles, but that's okay. Okay, so this duck also came from the little local antique mall, antique store. I'm rolling my eyes at myself because I can't remember the name of it. And this duck is a $39.95 up on my site. It is solid brass. Beautiful, beautiful patina on it. I really like the eyeball and the shape of its head as well. Um, not all ducks are shaped the same. Like this little guy, see how his duck is, or his duck, his beak is a little bit like flipped up. I really like how pointy and antique that one looks. So $39.95 on this one. This one is up at $10.95. Um, and I paid $4 for this one and $2.50 for this one. So her prices weren't too bad. Um, on a couple things, she was a little high, but on some things, I definitely worth my time. So all the critters this week and the critters sell fast, y'all. Just start calling me the crazy critter lady. <laughs> this was a very fun find. Never found one before. There's no markings on it. And when I went to look it up, I used Google Lens, you know, nothing too fancy, but I started looking it up and I couldn't find anything for a while. But eventually I found that it is a ring holder, a vintage ring holder, and it is metal. It's got a really pretty old paint job on it, kind of a creamy color with the little blue eyeballs. So, so cute. I paid $2.50 for it and it's listed at $19.95. It's a little more rare. I've never found one like this. I have, however, found a cat like this before. Sold one of these before, I think it was gold. This one is silver and it's got the little diamond eyeballs in it. So stinking cute. The cat is $14.95 and I paid uh, $2.50 for it. Really fun ring holders. I love using the little trinket dish too um, for rings and stuff, but these are stinking cute. Speaking of trinket dish, if that's not your style, I did find this really pretty wooden bowl, kind of a square base, but it's got the bowl in there. It would be great for change, car keys, wallets, you know, any of that stuff, your jewelry on a nightstand. It was $3, really pretty wood, and I have it up at $16.95. And I have all the measurements of the things I have for sale um, down in the dimensions of my listing. So if you're wondering, like, oh, I wonder how big that thing is she's holding up. Check the dimensions, or you can always email me, upcycledbybree at gmail.com if you have more specific questions. Um, while I'm here in the live chat, I will try to drop some links. I'm going really fast, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to keep up tomorrow, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Let's do another critter. Here's a bunny. This is a home co. I've been finding a ton of home co. I paid two fifty, dollars and it is up at $8.95, but this one caught my eye because it's got the little cute kicking foot. And this one had some like scratches, some markings on it from being tossed around in the tote. But on the white pieces, the white ceramic pieces like this, if you take a magic eraser, you can kind of clean off the, um, the scratches on them. Just be careful with the vintage paint that you don't take your paint off to. <laughs> so I decided to keep a couple things this week and I'm gonna show you before they get lost back here. This vintage um, felted, Bunny Bank came from this small local thrift store. It was a few dollars and I'm gonna keep her for my collection. But I love, I love these old plastic vintage things and then the, the beady eyeballs. The beady eyeballs always get me and I really love when it's a ceramic piece with the beady eyeballs. <laughs> I found a concrete cat a couple weeks ago and she had blue plastic beady eyeballs and she sold to a local here a few days ago. A pair of candlesticks. These were $2 each at um, God's Storehouse. That's where I found all the animals. I found a few other things too. $2 each. They're a beautiful set of candlesticks and I am going to list them. They're listed as the set for $22.95. They come apart right here, they unscrew, and I love when it is a wooden thread like that. 
I wonder how tricky it is to make that or if it's a machine that makes it. I don't know, but I love these. They've got the cute little candle cups on the inside. $22.95 for a beautiful set of candlesticks. More Home Co. These are a set of three funny ducks. Elena found these at the um, at God's Storehouse. She was looking originally. She likes to play with baby dolls and she likes to buy like real doll clothing and stuff for her dolls. So she was looking at the baby doll stuff and she discovered that I was digging through a tote down on the ground. And she's like, oh, that looks like fun. And she went to a whole different tote I hadn't been to yet and scored. Um, she found these guys and some sheep. These were 50 cents each. They are a set of three. Don't drop them. And I have the set up at $19.95. They are just so weird. So weirdly cute. I love their tail feathers. This one's all <laughs> backwards. So, oh my goodness. Yes, the critters are becoming a problem. But I love it because otherwise I would end up keeping wanting to buy and keep all of these but this way I can buy and pass them on. I'm keeping these. Um, they have an F on the bottom and they also say Japan. I have not looked them up. I meant to before I went before I started recording but I forgot. If you all know what they are in the in the live chat here let me know. They were four dollars each so I'm assuming they're something maybe a little fancy. Fit, fits and fluid? I don't know what was made in Japan. I'm not even gonna try to guess but I love the color on them and I'm actually gonna use these to stage up here in my big, tall, green shelving in my living room. And then these parts unscrew. They don't smell like anything. I thought at first they were like Avon, but they're not, they're not Avon. They're pretty. Oh, I'm gonna put these up here so actually, so I don't forget and accidentally put them in my inventory. I'm keeping this. I found this and teased it out in the reel earlier this week. I find a lot of muddlers, but I don't usually find them in like this juicer shape. And this is going to be perfect to add to my little collection. I think I have like five or six now um, up on a shelf. So I'll take a picture and post it later this weekend of how I style that up. And then also I found some filler. Oh, whoops. I'm blind, you guys. Sorry. Found, found some fun filler. Say that 10 times fast. Um, and I really like the colors. It's like black and then a beautiful, just kind of neutral cream color. This up here is purple, so I'll probably repurpose that for a different project. But the other filler I'm going to use in my own home. Brass Bell. It was $1 and I have it up at $10.95. It's got a fun rusty knocker in there. And it is etched as well. And bells always sell well for me. I pick those up every time I find them, as long as they're priced well. These spools are $22.95. These actually came um, from an antique mall and I, I got them a while back. I styled up my fireplace this weekend, my mantle. I don't actually have a fireplace. And this wood, I love, I love it. I just have too many. I have too many and not enough room and I needed to get rid of a couple. Um, I do love these, but I loved the other ones more. The other ones had darker wood. <laughs> So somebody had to go and these got the chop. I didn't want to keep them as a pair though because they work well. They have the um, kind of brassy ends up top and then we've got one brass and one silver down here. $22.95 on the pair and you can have some of my previously owned spools. And these look really cute in little crocs like this. This croc was $2 and I have it up at $14.95. I also like these little ones. Well, that one's not tall enough, but I also like these little crocs for spoons and stuff in the kitchen. These colors are great. Ooh, I bought some red. I don't buy a lot of red, usually unless it's Christmas. I know we've got Valentine's coming up. I'm not going to ship to you in time for Valentine's Day. But after that, eventually comes 4th of July and summer. And I don't find a lot of enamel with cherries on it. So I really loved that. Do I have any cherry lovers? Do y'all want me to manifest some cherry stuff? <laughs> I can start searching. $1.95 each on the bowls. Oh, and all the kitchen stuff at the Giving Tree was 25% off. Um, so 
four bucks, less 25%, um, and I have them up at $19.95 as a set. I don't know if they were originally a set, but I thought they were cute together. Um, I bought them together, and so I like to sell things and keep them together. It's like the, um, it's like the siblings at the shelter when you can't, like dogs and cats, when they're from the same litter, and you can't separate them, so you end up with two animals. So how I do it with junk. Okay, I found this. Um, I almost missed it. I actually spotted it the second time when I went back inside to walk more boxes out to my um, van. And I don't always buy the little bean pots with the handles and stuff, but this one was different. It's got the pour spout and the patina on it is just gorgeous. Now there's some markings on the bottom. Couldn't quite make it out. It does say oven proof. It says 44. I don't know. That's all I can make out. I paid uh, 50 cents for it and I have it up at $19.95. I looked these up and they're pretty cool and old and um, kind of expensive, the big ones especially. There were some that were like sets of four. I only found the one, but this would be so pretty styled up in a kitchen vignette. It reminds me, of st I guess, of stoneware. All right, I found this little beautiful mint tin for 50 cents at the Giving Tree, and I have it read description in the listing. So whenever there is a listing on my website that says read description, make sure you go through and read and make sure you're gonna like what I'm gonna do to the item. This one I'm gonna add a beautiful transfer to, probably a bright pop of red or magenta. Um, I've got some IOD, I think it's the ephemeral melange. I always butcher the names on those. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add a transfer to this one. Maybe throw in some spare floral. I've got so much extra floral I need to downsize, um, so I might include that as well. But that can be a quick, easy thrift flip later this week. Always love finding those flower tins. This is a find a little bit different than I've ever found before, and one of my beautiful long hairs. Sorry about that. It's everywhere. <laughs> I found a lot of wicker things in my time, but a cup like this with a handle is not one of them. Um, this thing was a dollar, so kind of a lot for what it is, but it was unique, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and it's in good shape. Obviously, you can't actually drink out of it. <laughs> uh, but this is why I need to stop. But you could put something cute in there. Obviously, not this one either, but a little like glass vase or whatever with some floral. Um, fresh flowers in the spring, it would be really pretty. Or like pins at your office desk or whatevs. What would you put in here? Um, let's see. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of my favorite finds. Probably should be keeping these for myself. And I'm almost starting to wonder if they were off of a bathtub. There are some claw feet. There's only two. They have a 51 kind of marking on the back of them. They're metal with a beautiful, beautiful paint job and beautiful rust. And I think they would make the most amazing bookends. I paid $6 for the set and they're up at $44.95. They're heavy. Um, but also if you could actually repurpose them on a piece of furniture, that would be even more amazing. And that's why I decided I would sell them because I thought somebody would actually be able to use them. But otherwise they would make beautiful bookends or just a piece of salvage sitting on your shelf. Let me not knock myself out with it. Um, but next to a stack of books or whatever or on top of a stack of books, really, really pretty. And that paint job is like what we all aspire to recreate. I'm kicking myself. I'm like, we're not live today, so I could definitely take those out of inventory before tomorrow and be like, oh shucks, they sold. I won't. This little cutie was 50 cents. It is up at 10.95 with floral to be added. Cute little chicken wire with wooden handles. Again, I've got so much excess floral I used to use to stage up in my booth and to, um, I used to sell crazy amounts of floral projects in my booth. Once I closed that down, I just had a bunch of excess floral. All right, so I took a little gamble on these. 
Um, I found wooden cookie molds a couple weeks ago. And this week it was these kind of like um, stone, they're not stone. The Pampered Chef Family Heritage Collection, June 1997. This is a President's Limited Edition. Pampered Chef. It's got the little barn with the roosters. So a bunch of different cookie molds. They were between $3.95 and $2.95 and $4.95. And I have them up at $14.95, except for one that has a chip. And less 25% off of the, the ticketed price. So this one was $2.95 minus 25%. It's got a little ding up here in the corner. So this one is only $12.95. That would be really pretty for Valentine's Day. And I know we're getting close, but you can always use it next year. And then here's another heart one. And this one has a bumblebee. And this one is the brown bag cookie collection. Can you guys see that? Brown bag cookie collection. Or I'm sorry, brown bag cookie art. 1990 Hill Design. So I don't know a lot about cookie molds, but I got a lot of attention on um, these when I gave a sneak peek of them too. Another longer burger. This one was pricier online. These were like almost $50. And I know longer burger is just like an expensive name. That was wild. I paid around $4 for it. And they're also 1495. Another longer burger. This is 1994. Little rabbit with a baby rabbit. So those are fun. Drop me a comment, let me know. Did you like the wood ones better or did you like these better? I was a bigger fan of the wood personally, but y'all know how I feel about wood. Last one is a piggy. <coughs> Excuse me, this is also a brown bag cookie art. So cute. And they all have holes in them. So not only are these cookie molds, but you could definitely just use them for wall decor. I'm sorry, y'all, my hair is crazy. I went to sleep with it wet last night and I haven't done it yet today. It's driving me nuts. Okay, moving on. We've got a horse, of course. Beautiful white ceramic horse. Paid up just a little bit, two seventy five dollars on this one. I have her up at just $12.95. Isn't she pretty? And I just love the white ceramic. Very simple, very elegant. These little birds I actually painted on my lifestyle channel and they have all sold already. Crazy, I bought them at the Dollar Tree, painted them up and they sold for three or $4.95 each. But I demonstrated all of the different waxes and then also how you can fix your dried up DIY paint and reconstitute it back into a usable paint. So if y'all haven't followed my lifestyle channel, check the description box down below and I'll drop a link here in the live chat as well. Um, go over there, subscribe, watch my videos. I've got a bunch of thrift videos up. It's a ton of fun. Some cooking, some cleaning, all the things. Another rooster. This one was made in Japan. I'm not going to paint it because it, it is collectible. Nothing broke. <laughs> um, I paid $1.50 for this one. It's up at uh, $24.95. And it is um, luster wear. It's that real shiny, pretty luster wear. It's also a planter and it's nice and clean on the inside. Love him. I love the colors, the orange and the black. And the shiny luster wear gets me every time. Pick this up before it falls too. <laughs> Found this very unique basket. It almost looked like it was a lid to something, but I don't think so. It's just a little bit different. It was $1. I have it up at $14.95. It's got the most amazing patina. It's got that unique wood piece here in the middle. And this would look perfect in a basket wall collage. It's in good shape. I kind of want to keep that one and use it on my kitchen shelving. This is the dangerous thing about not going live. I still have time to take this stuff down. <laughs> More critters, y'all. The critters are going to keep coming for a bit here. Um, I found these two birds. I found each of them actually at different stores. So I'm going to sell them together. I paid $2.50 for them um, as a pair and I have them up at $12.95. This one is a slightly darker green than this one. 
and they are votive holders, but I thought they'd be really cute with a succulent um, or some faux floral in them as well. For the springtime, I'm gonna run out of breakable stuff area. These roosters are a little different. I went back and forth and back and forth on whether I was gonna buy them. I paid $4 each. They were from the Giving Tree. Um, no, I'm sorry. Yes, they were from the Giving Tree. I paid $4 each, which is a little high for the Giving Tree, but they've got the metal feet on them. And I decided that I'm going to use um, a nice neutral color, probably like crinoline or sandy bond or something and a little bit of baking soda and make them look kind of like stone because I don't love the, um, I don't love the detailing on them. If you guys love them and that's your jam, totally cool. But I'm gonna give them a makeover because that's what we do here. I paid eight dollars. I have them listed at twenty six ninety five, and they are going to go home together. They are a pair, and those that's gonna be a cool makeover. I'll do that on an edited video. I found two amazing cloche. These both came from the God Storehouse. Two dollars on this one, fifty cents on this one, and uh, they are read description. They're on raw wood bases, but I'm going to paint these up and make them look old and decrepit and chippy like I did on the last video, last edited video on the decor boards. So I've got the raw wood bases, the metal cloche. I pay, I think like $3 each on these off of Amazon. So $5 investment here. This one's up at $36.95. Um, it's going to be a little tricky to ship this one, but I can do it. Just cost a bit more. And then this one is only $24.95 because it is not as tricky to ship, but it fits over the piece of wood beautifully, completely covers the wood and the glass goes all the way to your surface. So these are old votive cups, you know, used in decor back in the day when people burnt a lot of candles, they probably sat in some kind of metal piece. And then I just take them, boop, and flip them and they sell like crazy. So if you're a reseller, keep an eye out. And I'm going to move these real quick so I don't break them. <laughs> Sorry about that. An adorable little honey crock. Never found one quite like this. Probably should have looked it up first, but I didn't. I only paid a dollar for it. I have it up at $18.95. It does say honey on it kind of indented in there in cursive. It's so cute. The brown is beautiful. It just wasn't quite right for my kitchen. I was this close to keeping it. And this, the browns were just a little bit off with my amber glass. I just didn't quite like them. This is beautiful as well. I paid $2.95 on this and I sell my bunt pans and my cake pans at $12.95. Love the detail on that one. These would both be really adorable together. Just saying. Let me know what colors you're decorating with for spring. I have gone just black and white, like crazy. Not really white, more like a, a cream, a vintage, chippy, farmhousey white, like dirty. <laughs> like my old window frames and stuff I'm looking at. I'm like, there's no other way to describe them. They're just literally old and dirty. Um, but so brown, black, dirty white, and industrial green. Those are my spring colors. Found this adorable duck, $9.95. I found a bigger one like this a while back. This one's a little baby guy. I only paid a dollar fifty. It's nine ninety five. He's got the it's not actually a brass beak. Oh, maybe it is. I'm like some of the coating is scratching off, but it actually looks even more like brass underneath there. But he's got the plastic eyeballs. So stinky cute. How cute would this look on a stack of books? With some like, mm, baby's breath. Oof. One dollar I paid for this little wooden cup and I threw some baby's breath in there. We're gonna sell it with the baby's breath. I bought a bunch of this and the color, I it's really pretty. I, I staged up um, my living room with some other white flowers and it just does not go with this no matter how hard I try. So I'm going to use this for projects, I think. And I ordered some that's more pure white. 
Um, so I'm going to sell this off with some projects, but this little wooden cup was a dollar. I have it up at $8.95 with the floral. This would make a really cute pencil cup or for makeup brushes, a trinket cup, a junk cup. Boop. Ooh, these were a fun find. So I could not even find any listings that were very similar to them at all. Salt and pepper. The bottom of them does say silver and then I put marble because I don't know exactly I don't know if that's it's it is I don't think it's jade is it isn't jade a solid color but these are just gorgeous I paid up for them I paid ten dollars but they're stunning and if they don't sell I won't be sad if I have to keep them um, $28.95 I have them listed as. Y'all drop me a comment. Let me know if you know anything about what that stone is or if you've seen anything like these before. First time for me and I, again, I just thought they were so pretty. Sorry, I'm just over here like drooling over them. <laughs> so pretty. Another salt and pepper shaker set. Got some cardinals. They are... $12.95 on my site. Now they do have like a little bit of like holly and pine cones. So I think they're Christmas cardinals technically, but y'all been asking for the cardinals. So there are some. Okay. I found one brass butterfly at um, God's storehouse and she was a dollar. And then when I was at the little antique mall, I found two brass butterflies. I keep saying it. I keep calling it something different. The local thrift store. I found two. So now I've got a set of three <laughs> for $14.95. I paid around $3 total. I love these two. Like this one's two dimensional. And then they've got the little hanging hooks on the back. The little hanging um, butterflies and hummingbirds um, whenever I find them sell very well. Can't pass up little things like this. This box was only 50 cents. It's missing a lid. It's nothing fancy, but it's going to be the perfect little box for a cute little stencil and some of that extra floral I have. It's the springtime and all I want to do is create floral projects until I can actually get outside and do some real gardening. Um, so I will end up buying a ton of little things like this, but the last few I've done have sold quickly. So that's well, um, that's good. This is $8.95, read description, um, we'll have floral added and be stenciled. Gonna leave it wood, just add a stencil to it. This beautiful pan, is this angel food cake? It's not a bunt pan, right? Because the bunt pans are the scalloped ones. I'm not a baker. Is this for angel food cake? Drop me a comment, let me know. Um, I just called it a cake pan because I don't know. And it's the perfect teal, beautiful, beautiful teal. I paid up just a little bit on this one, $5. It is up at $12.95 as well. And I like that the inside is white. If you wanted to do a vignette this way, nice neutral on the inside. Um, if you want to hang it on the wall, you've got that beautiful pop of teal. This heavy, heavy letter holder was $1.95. I have it up at $14.95. Don't think it's actually brass. Um, but it's got a great metal color to it. So I'm not going to do anything to it. Just clean it up a little bit, sell it as is. And it has two slots in here for two sides, mail in and out maybe. But I loved how ornate it was and how heavy duty it was. Cute little funny trivet, which is actually what I have it called on the listing. Our house is clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy, which I think is very appropriate. Paid $1.50, it's up at $12.95. I've got a few trivet collectors. All right, I've been searching for more linens and I've been failing a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm trying. I found some valances, these are very pretty. Or is it valance? Even if it's plural. <laughs> I have the listings, again, in the descriptions. Um, the length and width on these but they are a fun shape and they've got a really pretty pattern just a pretty leaf nothing too fancy 
not too florally. Oh, aren't those gorgeous? And then a nice simple pattern up top too. Uh, there's a set of four. I can't remember how long they are. I just measured them this morning for the listing, but it is in the description of the listing. So those are pretty. Curtains, I sell a lot of curtains. So I was like, let me take a uh, risk hair on the balance set. I paid $4 for the set. I have them up at $29.95. So very reasonable. Another little a thrift flip item here. Only $3.50 I paid for this nice and beautiful, already ready to be made overboard. It's got some great weathered wood, a couple of hanging hooks on the back, and then the four clips on the front. And I have a read description. I'm going to add some faux seed packets. I've got some cute little um, paper bags I'm going to use and use the uh, ephemeral melage IOD transfers, the little seed packet ones, and just hang them from here. And y'all can buy it like that if you love my makeover. And then if you don't love my makeover, you could take those off because these are just little clips. <laughs> $24.95 after it's all said and done. Um, I bought this bell and then I realized once I got home that it's actually crystal. It is an Avon. Oh, 24% full lead crystal. So it's not complete crystal, but it's very, very nice quality. Heavy duty and it's got a beautiful etched hummingbird in it. Hummingbirds are very popular around here, so I always buy them when I see them. And bells are popular as well. Now it's got a um, it's got a bead up here to hang a knocker from, but it is missing the knocker. So you all would have to hang your own knocker in there. But it does have the little you can see the little hook dangling. What else? Got some more home co. These are dogs. Um, pretty cute. There's two of them, and they look pretty sad. They are the same, but I have listed them as a set. $9.95 for the set, I paid $3. Cute little hound dogs. I figured somebody had some hounds. They look kinda sad, like they want a treat. <laughs> and then one more random dog. I liked his crazy eyes. He's $6.95. <laughs> and he's just called Dog. All right, the sheep. This one was 50 cents. I have it up at 6.95. You cute little baby sheep just laying there. Hopefully, hopefully it's mom's coming back for it. And then these little sheep have some taper like um, holes in them. Not like for full size taper candles, but maybe a smaller taper. And I have them up at 8.95. I paid a dollar for them. Who loves sheep? set of three cactus cacti <laughs> and i don't usually buy little things like this at the thrift store because yeah you can get them at the dollar tree or whatever but these are way better quality than you find at the dollar tree they've got some little faux soil in them they were only 50 cents each and i have the set up at 8.95 set of three Okay, this is a different buy for me. I don't usually buy a lot of mermaid stuff, but look how cute this sign was. And it's only, or it was only $1.50. Um, it's got the faux aging on it, beautiful colors, great picture. And y'all know I love advertising. So I went ahead and snagged it up. It's $14.95 for my coastal lovers. And again, the um, size is in the description. She's so pretty. It makes me want to, you know, like actually like start collecting mermaids. I don't need to. I have nowhere to put mermaids. This little boot was 50 cents. I have it up at 495 for all my cowboy lovers. And this would actually hold water as well. I tested it. So you could put cute little, cute little florals in it in the spring or just set it up in your vignette for the love of tiny things. This watering can, baby mini watering can for 50 cents. Great shape, great galvanized look. I have it up at $3.95. These always go quick. No matter what color, if I find a mini watering can, it sells. Found this tiny, tiny funnel. I put in some tiny, tiny baby's breath. 
and it's $3.95. So cute. I found two bells. These are crazy colors. I'm like, not even I can quite get with these colors. So I have a read description on these. I am going to paint them to look old and decrepit. Um, maybe rusty even. I don't know yet. $9.95 is what they will be after they are super cool. But the cowbells always sell quick for me. Let me not do that. That might be loud. A few more things and then we're going to be done. This rooster was $1, and he's up at $12.95. I've never quite seen one like him. I just love him. He'd be a good paperweight. These I did a Google search on. One is a little bit older than the other two, and it has like a hinge to it. Um... They said omelet molds, but I think omelets are usually a little bigger. I just figured they were just for eggs, to make your eggs stay in a pretty circular shape. But how fun. Wood, metal, shape, height, texture. I just love adding old things like this into my vignette. You stack them all together. They were 50 cents each. I think I have all three of them up for $12.95. My sticker's not on here. But those are just fun. In fact, um, Rediscovered Vintage messaged me earlier. She's like, what are those? I was like, I know, I have to look them up too. I've never, and she's good. She like, she. you think I love old junk? She loves old junk. Um, and I love her style. Anyways, I was like, you, if you don't know, I really don't know. I think they're for eggs. These bird nests, I had three of them. I don't need three. I tried so many different spots to put them this house just isn't big enough for three birds nests so I'm selling two and they're gorgeous they are just stunning they've got a um, wooden base on the bottom stick base and then like a hay nest on the top they have some real feathers stuck in there I have them up at $14.95 each and I think I paid eight dollars a piece for them back when I bought them I found them at the thrift store a year or two ago and I've had them and had them and had them. And I just, I don't need three. Copper cup. I grabbed this one, even though it was a single. And even though the copper is pretty orangey because I liked the shape of the handle. This one's really good for hanging. So if you want to hang it in a vignette, this is a great, great handle for doing that. It'll hang right. It won't be all like weird and wonky. Uh, $6.95 for the copper cup. We have a set of pig corn on the cob holders. And I think they're a little bit older, just judging by the way the plastic looks and feels. And I could be wrong. They are $4.95 for the set, and I think I paid 50 cents. Aren't they cute? If you want piggies to hold on to your corn for you. I found this big, huge, oops, beautiful board. Oh, where's my sticker? Darn it, Brie. Um, big, huge, beautiful board. I think I paid $6.95 for this at God's Storehouse. And I believe I have it up at $29.95. I could be wrong on this. I'll drop it in the live chat. <laughs> this one is definitely still usable, um, but it's nice and thick too. You could add some feet to this one and make a beautiful riser if you wanted. It's got a little bit of a crack going too. So if you wanted to add a repair to this one and use it for decor, um, if you wanted to drop it off your balcony, you could probably really crack it in half and then repair it. <laughs> Another candle snuffer. Y'all, these have been actually selling. I've been finding a ton of them, so I grabbed this one. This one's silver. It's up at a $10.95, and I paid a dollar for it. Last but not least, we've got this bread box. And somebody said, oh my gosh, you really bought that. You're not actually going to use it for bread, are you? And probably not. It's pretty old, kind of um, spray paint chipping off on the inside. I will probably call it a decor box, but y'all can make the call on that. If you're just putting bread in a package in there, it, it probably would be fine. Somebody spray painted it, which makes me sad because I can see peaks of some of the original colors and there's like a yellow and there's a red. <sighs> But it does have some breathing holes in the side of it. So, I mean, your bread wouldn't get all icky in there. Um, like bagged potatoes and onions and stuff would work too. I paid 
$4.95 for it since everything was 25% off in the kitchen area and it is up at $39.95 read description. So I'm going to give this thing a paint job and probably also a stencil right here. And that is my haul for the week. Thank y'all for hopping on and watching. Again, um, if you're new around here, all of this stuff that I showed is already listed on my website, upcycledbybree.com. It's in the Shop My Hauls collection. I'll drop it again in the live chat. It's down in the description box. And if you see something you love, go ahead and grab it fast. Things sell out pretty quickly. If you do place multiple orders within a 24 hour period, maybe you had FOMO and you were like, oh, I've got to go back and get that one thing. I will try to combine your orders down as much as possible and I will refund any excess shipping on orders placed within 24 hours. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave a comment, send me a private message, email me upcycledbybree at gmail.com. Thumbs up the video, please. Send it out to a friend. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to all so YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Make sure to do that here and over on my lifestyle channel, which is also linked down below for you. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will be back live next Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time with another live haul. So much clapping. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye, friends.